Hey guys, today we are going to be making the vinegar volcano. Um, so what you're going to need is dish soap, a two liter, some distilled white vinegar, um, not a puppy, some baking soda, food dye just to make the explosion of color, tape, and we're gonna use paper because we, we didn't have time to make a paper mache. Uh, and then this is going to be filled with water after you do the baking soda. All right, the first step is to combine the vinegar, the dish soap, and the water um, into your two liter, your empty two liter. So you're gonna need 400 milliliters of white vinegar. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, right there. Then you're going to need a hundred milliliters of water. It says cold water. Very careful, try not to spill. It says 10 milliliters of dish, so I don't think this goes down to 10. It goes to 25, it looks like. So we'll just have to. Yes, right around there. I think this is just to make the bubbles. I don't think this counts as washing it out either, which kind of stinks. And then in this cup, uh, you're going to fill it up with like half baking soda half water. You're going to make sure you stir it up until it dissolves. And then that's what you're going to be pouring into the two liter after you get everything in there. I forgot to add the food dye. Um, so I'm just going to do two drops of the red. I guess I did three. And then this is our baking soda and water mixture. And we're just gonna stir up for a little bit until everything dissolves in there. We'll probably shake the, um, the, can't think of it, the food coloring dye around a little bit so it spreads out. And then we're going to be doing this outside. That's the important step. Filming. All right, so we're outside. Um, I've never done this before. I'm not really sure if we should shake up the bottle or not. We'll probably do it a couple times. Shake it up, Mr. Um, Joe. But then I have to, maybe if I keep my thumb over it. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't really know if I'm supposed to like run away either, but I guess it's just vinegar and baking soda. Is this phone waterproof? That is, that is a waterproof phone. All right, I got my camera shot here. Alright, I, I feel like I'm just go for the pour. And oh. Whoa! You know, you know, <laughs> you know I was really Where's hoping, the cap? I was really hoping for something more. So oh, you got something more that time. Yeah, um, <laughs> so let's go with the not shaking it up idea. <laughs> but we're going to try to get this to actually explode. Yeah. Alright, so we used about twice the amount of vinegar and probably three times the amount of baking soda this time. 
Um, just stirring it up still because we didn't add a lot of water because we wanted to get this in as fast as possible. And hopefully, hopefully this gives us a little, a little better outcome. Not, not too bad. All right, so the, the second attempt kind of gave us a little bit better, but it looks like we might have added way too much baking soda. So we'll have to find that middle, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, remember that you can always do this as your little science experiment if you want to paper mache the, the bottle. Otherwise, we'll come back with you guys with another video next week.